Assassin's Creed movie, which has been in development, I believe it's done filming, it's probably done with everything, just got its first trailer. And it looks spectacular. So we're going to give you our, 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 our thoughts so far on what to expect from this movie and if we think it'll be good or not. It's kind of hard to judge a movie by its trailer, but we're going to do it anyway. Or at least yeah. give our initial anticipatory ideas whether yeah, we want so. to see it or not or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, so if you don't know what Assassin's Creed is, it is a video game that started back in the wee early days of the Xbox 360. It followed a group of guys called the Assassins, more particularly followed one particular assassin, and their fight against the Templars. Now, that's not the whole story. That's just kind of part of it. The, the way they can tell what's going on with the Templars and the Assassins back in, uh, I want to say this is like around the Crusade time, so we're looking like the 1100s um, in Jerusalem, is that there's this machine that the modern-day Templars controlled called the Animus, where you put somebody who's a descendant of a certain bloodline, and they, they theorize that there is genetic memories stored in your DNA, so you can recreate what happened in these memories from just having a descendant of somebody so let's say i was a descendant of mm, let's just say a famous person napoleon you could be able to recreate napoleon's life just by tapping into my dna and recreating so that's the basic premise of the movie now there was a couple cool things that went on in this trailer number one one thing that i saw that i really really enjoyed is it does not look like they're going to try to retell any of the assassin's creed stories because we've all seen what happens that then every time somebody tries to recreate a video game and make it into a movie form it fails horribly just because those are two differently told stories and it looks like they are going to be setting it not only in a different time period but we're going to have a different assassin that we're going to be following this one is now going to be set in when, when, when was the spanish inquisition the 1500s uh let's say a little bit before 1600s? that Oh, before that? Well, so this is going to take place in the time of the Spanish Inquisition. Now, Michael Fassbender is the leading role. You also have Marion Cotillard. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, she's from things like Dark Knight Rises, Inception, different different movies. So good actress there, too. And these are the two, really, that are showcased. I'm sure there's other actors in the movie. I just don't really know who they are. Mm. But so far, what they've showed us is that they're going to be different from the way the game is told. Like I said, they're taking a different character. They're putting it in a different time period. But it also seems like they're kind of switching up the way the Animus works. Uh, there was a couple scenes where you see, like, an arm grab them, and you see them kind of training in what you can tell is modern-day times because they're in, like, a laboratory. And the way... That's a little bit different than the way they used to do it with Assassin's Creed. In Assassin's Creed, they literally laid you down on the table, plugged you in, boom, you were there. In Assassin's Creed 2... I believe they said that, oh, some of the animus will bleed over and teach you some of the skills that your ancestor knew. And I think that's how all the rest of them go. Honestly, I didn't get past Brotherhood, which I believe was the third or fourth game, just because it got boring every year, same thing. But that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the movie. So you see this arm thing kind of grab Michael Fassbender, and they kind of make it seem like, okay, yes, you will be in the animus, but you are still moving. You are, it's kind of like you're mm. in virtual reality and you're still moving around and you're still controlling this human being that you're relieving their memories. So it looks like they sent him through some training and then there's this arm that holds him up and he can do his movements because there's a lot of jumping from buildings and then a lot of more jumping to buildings and then a lot of climbing up buildings going on in this movie, I would imagine. Uh, so that seems like a cool, interesting new take on something that they've already done. They're not totally breaking from the way it was done, but it's a lot more interesting to see him kind of flying around in the sky rather than just seeing him lay on a bed. Yeah. My impression from the trailer was that it it felt a lot like a trailer for a game. Like I wasn't sh yeah, I would say that you could have almost made this just another Assassin's Creed game and rather they still than might. movie. You can't you can't take that away from them. They might still do that. They okay. Well, they have a plenty set up to do that. That it did feel very much like uh, a trailer for that game. It seemed like it fit, which I don't know. It, it could be a good or a bad thing because one of the things that is a problem with a lot of um, uh, game movies in the past is they try to do strange things that either don't make sense for a movie or go way too far away from the 
the target audience familiarity with the game and this they're at least going to hit the game aspect i imagine i mean this is only a short clip from the trailer maybe none of it even makes it into the final movie i don't know but it definitely has the feel of a game so it should hit that and it's a very cinematic game so yeah you know maybe it'll work Maybe. And they did show a couple of little little cool things in the trailer. They showed the the multiple sword fighting, which if I mean one person fighting multiple other people, which if you're familiar with the game, that happens a lot. Like every time you fight somebody, you're fighting ten people. So they showed some interesting aspects with that. They showed the hidden blades, which if you again are a fan of the game, they used to have to cut off a finger if in the old school assassins so that the blade could come out, and then Leonardo da Vinci redesigned it, and you didn't have to do that. So it looks like they're going with the Leonardo da Vinci redesign. And uh, so they, they have all the classics. They have all the staples of Assassin's Creed here. You know, the cool, you know, the, the costumes. And everybody at first said, oh, he's wearing white. He must be trying to be Altair. No. No, he's um, trying to be somebody in the Spanish Inquisition. So relax, relax, not not Altair. So they're telling a totally different story. But they are keeping some of the, the aspects that would make it a good movie. That Hidden Blade is one of the coolest things in video games. Why wouldn't it be a cool thing in movies? I don't know. It would. It would. And they're definitely showing you that it's going to be similar to the game because in the game you do have moments where now 90%, I'd say, of most of the games are inside the Animus. But they do have moments where they pull you out of the animus and you're walking around as the main character Desmond in the first couple. Um, And then I think it switches as it goes on from there. But they do seem to, they're going to be striking a balance, it seems like, between Michael Fassbender's character, assassin character, in the animus and outside the animus, which is going to be interesting because you can tell a deeper, richer story of why they're trying to go in there. Um, If you play the games, there's a certain artifact that was lost to time that the Templars are trying to get because it would help them control the world. And so that just kind of gives you um, an idea of who's going to be on the good side and who's going to be on the bad side of things. Generally, the assassins were the good guys and the Templars were the bad guys in these games. So it was just, just kind always of kind of an interesting way of going about it. Assassins are the good guys. That's that's how they like to roll. Yeah. And they, they say that they, they bring out the slogan, you know, we fight in the dark to protect the light or whatever. So mm-hmm. again, they're, they're, trying to to tie into the game and the feel of the game as much as possible to appeal to that audience if you want to look at history yeah neither side was really any good but eh, that's neither here nor there (laughs) so i mean these aren't really quite historical no not at all that's all i'm trying to say but these are not historical so do not go into these thinking that you are going to get history a history lesson of the spanish inquisition or play any of the games and think you're going to get a history lesson no 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 there are some interesting moments that do parallel what happened in the real historical events but yeah, not historical at all so overall i thought the trailer was cool i really enjoyed that they threw the last bit in there where he's on top of a really tall building and you see him do like the swan dive in the leap of faith that he's the game was so well known for it because the first time you did a leap of faith, you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. Even though it's totally improbable. A bale of hay yeah, will not break your fall. Yeah, I was kind of curious if high. they were going to even show that because usually, again, with the movie, they try to have more ties to reality in this kind of thing. But they're like, it sounds like, yeah, they're like, no, no, yeah, this was what the video game was about. So we'll, yeah. we'll do it. <laughs> so, so overall, the trailer made me pretty, actually pretty excited for the movie. I was actually already pretty excited just because Michael Fassbender is a good actor and usually good actors don't side on to bad projects. It happens from time to time for sure. But usually they got a pretty good track record. Like if Leonardo DiCaprio is in a movie, I'm like, yeah, probably a pretty good movie. I'll watch it. So Michael Fassbender's in this. So I'm like, yeah, all right, probably a pretty good movie. I'm going to watch it. Has enough of the little tie-ins, the winks to the video game players without really overpowering the entire story. So I'm excited I will see it. It doesn't come out until I believe December, right? It. They said just sometime 2016. I think at the end. I, I don't think they had a, a pin down date. Yeah, I think but it's December. This year. Yeah, I think it's December. So I'm excited. How about you, Brendan? Is this does watching the trailer make you want to watch the movie? Uh, slightly, but I I would say. Uh, I, I'm a little mixed because I do think it's good that they are trying to keep with the game feel, but at the same time, it, it might end up being too much. It might be just, hey, I'm watching a cinematic video game because it seems like they mm. are trying to stay really close. So, Well, no, it's, it, I, like I said, they're taking hints from the video game. Yeah. 
doesn't seem to me like they're trying to recreate the video game. So well, I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah. I mean, only time will tell. You can't tell yeah. from the trailer. And I haven't so. played the games or more uh-huh. than like five minutes, so I guess I'm I'm a different audience. But I, I'd be interested to see it if. Maybe the next trailer shows that hey, this there's some more fleshed out stuff, reasons to see it, but we'll see. I I'm I'm not at the point where I'd say I want to see it opening day or anything right now. So, hmm. but it's hopeful. It's hopeful. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, just hit us up. Let us know what you think. Comments down below, of course. At what's for my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good way to get a hold of us. Oh.